Well, hey there. I'm Jay. Welcome to my booth. Today, we are taking a look at the Fifine K669C condenser microphone that they sent me to take a look at uh, and see if it's worth it for voiceover artists. We'll start off with a blind comparison between the Fifine K669C, the Neumann TLM-102, as well as the Shure KSM-32. Not so much to see if one is better or worse, but just so you can get a sense of how different microphones sound. Uh, before we dive into that, if you have any questions about this or anything else voiceover related, you are always welcome to drop me a line below or reach out on my website, where I've also got one-on-one -on -one coaching if you're interested. And a new thing, if you want to support these efforts, free resource for voiceover artists at any stage in their career, uh, you can do so by buying me a coffee. The link is down below. Let's dive in. And here we are on microphone A. Microphone A, how does this one sound? And here we are on microphone B. Microphone B. And here we are on microphone C. Microphone C. And back on microphone A. Microphone A once again. How do we feel about this one relative to the other two? And once again on microphone B. How do we feel about microphone B relative to the others? And one more time back on microphone C. And one last time back on microphone A. No processing. Let's read some Winnie the Pooh. One day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. And one last time, microphone B. One day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. And one last time, back on microphone C, Get ready for some more Winnie the Pooh. One day when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. And microphone A was the Shure KSM-32. Microphone B, the TLM-102. Microphone C, the Fifine K669C. All right, let's dig into it. Let's dig into the nitty gritty. If you want to form your own opinion before I muddy it up at all, uh, do that now. You've been warned. A quick note on the samples at the beginning of this video, however, they're not intended to discern, oh, that mic sounds better than that mic. It's more so to determine, oh, these are aspects of sound that I like. Here's something that I enjoy about this bit. Uh, this microphone has flavors that I like, but I think that this one overall is a better... It's more for that sort of gauging, because at the end of the day, if a budget microphone such as this one sounds good for you, that's all you need. Um, so for whatever that's worth. Now, let's talk about this condenser microphone. So when the folks at Fifine reached out and asked if I would take a look at the K669C condenser microphone, as well as its counterpart, the Dynamic K669D for dynamic, I was, as I said in the other review, a tad skeptical. And the main reason for that is when companies reach out to me, I personally am not terribly keen on becoming a product review guy. That's not to disparage people who do do product reviews because I find them tremendously helpful and I'm really grateful for them. They help a ton of people out either here on YouTube or across the World Wide Web. Um, but for me, this space here on this channel, this community that we're building, I want it to be a place where you can come, ask questions, learn, develop, grow. We can grow together and you're not told to buy stuff. And everything that I talk about here is stuff that I use in my day-to-day -day professional career. To which point, the person I was speaking to at Fifine said, you know, some of the people that are watching your videos may not be at the same point in your career as in their career as you are. And I said, yeah, you are exactly right. Send me the mic, I'd love to take a look. Because some people aren't in the market for a $200, $300, $500,000 microphone. They're just looking to get their foot in the door. 
To which point, this, I think, is a fantastic way to do just that. If you're someone who's in a budget-conscious place, you want to start practicing, learning, developing your craft as soon as you possibly can. You don't want to wait to save up a couple hundred bucks for a $200, $300 microphone, and you just want to get going now. This is a great way to go, and there are a few reasons for it. Firstly, it's an XLR microphone, meaning... A, when you decide to upgrade, it's as simple as unplug, plug in your new fancy microphone, fancier microphone, and you're good to go. Next, the sound quality of this versus a USB microphone is going to be a little bit better. It's also going to introduce you to the general workflow that you will be using if you do progress in your career and stick with it. You're going to learn how to use an audio interface. You're going to learn how to manage your XLR cables. You're going to learn how to position your microphone a little bit differently. You're going to learn how to interface things with your DAW the way you would with an XLR professional level mic. I think it's a great way to glide yourself on into understanding what it would be like to be a professional voice voiceover artist without breaking the bank. As far as the sound goes, listen, are there flaws to the sound? Sure, I could pick them apart if I wished, but for $37, I'm more than willing to let go of a great many flaws because it's just such a healthy entry price point. And for the 37 bucks, I think that this thing punches well above uh, it sounds great for its price point do i think that this will compete with what i would term entry-level voiceover mics in my past life uh things that are in the 200 300 range like the rode nt1 i do not i think if you wish to stick with it and you want a microphone that will take you a long long way in your career it's worth investing up front i think in a microphone like the Rode NT1, simply because it will take you farther longer. A Rode NT1 could last your whole career if you wished it to. This mic, I think that clients would start to request a higher sound quality than it can provide. So it's not meant to endure, it's meant to be a great foot in the door for you. And if that's where you're at, this is a great place to start. So I hope that's helpful for you. And once again, if you have any questions about this, Anything else voiceover related, you are always welcome to drop me a line below or reach out via my website. I'd also love to hear what you think of this guy. Uh, what are your thoughts and opinions on Fi Fine? Um, anyway, until the next one of these, be well, and I will see you then. Toodles. Toodles.